Hey there YouTube, welcome to my fall eBay purchase recap video. So back in the fall, I didn't buy a whole lot of stuff off eBay. So I actually am also including a purchase that I made from the Mainline Autographs webpage. So um, I'm sure they'll have a COA in there, I can show you the name of that company there. But I saw Michael Myers purchase something, it's like, oh my gosh, I have to buy it too. Because that's such a running joke that I, I anyway, I'll make more sense in a moment. But first off, I had two eBay purchases from Larry Parmiter, the Medium Marauder. I will include a link to his channel in the description below. So from Larry, I want to go through his eBay you know, page in there and check out and buy some stuff off the guy. Because I hadn't done it for a little bit. Bought five cards off of him. So first up is this Smokey Burgess. Really glad to add that. That was a cool item. The 63 Elroy face, which I probably have, but the signature looked really good because the nowadays signature, I mean, the guy is up there in age. Isn't so good, so I went and purchased that one. Got the Bob Skinner. I don't think I had ever sent this card to Bob Skinner before, so it was time to add the 74 when he was one of the coaches. I believe the 1960 Bill Verdon is a semi-high number, and he's no longer with us. Um, 496, yeah, that's a semi-high number. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. And the 64 Bill Verdon with him and Danny Murtaugh. Bill's got it. So that was pretty cool. I think the Smokey Burgess was the most expensive. Um, but those were nice pirates, a lot of vintage action right there for my collection. So thank you, Larry. Uh, the Media Marauder, as I said, a link to his channel will be in the description below. And then I purchased one more item off of him. <coughs> this is not a 59. This is a Topps fan favorites archive type of autograph here from, um, yeah, 2000 something, I'm sure. 2004, so that was cool. I'm pretty sure I don't have that card signed by him. And while we're at it, there's Larry, his eBay ID, Parm Cindy 11. So, very cool. Want to make sure I give him a nice little shout out. Okay, I, my third item I want to show you from eBay, and I have completely blanked out at the moment on what these are called. I can't believe it. It's like three by five or maybe it's like three and a quarter by five and a half or five and a quarter i forget what these vending cards are called oh my gosh anyway i picked one up signed by dick wrote completely blanked out on what these were called i oh my gosh i'm so mad at myself dick wrote amazing baseball player here it's got all of his years from the so it looks like it might be a 1963 card I don't know, or else I'm just showing his years with the Pirates. But anything, anyway. Uh, he was born in Swissville, Pennsylvania. He's a Pittsburgh guy, one of Western Pennsylvania's greatest athletes. He was really good at basketball, too. I mean, I got this with shipping and tax for $10.56. That was a heck of a deal. And then, um, yeah. And then I got a purchase to show you from Mainline Autographs. I saw Michael Myers show some, you know, show something. It's like, oh my gosh, I need to get that. So, uh, Mainline Autographs. They have an awesome show in Western Pennsylvania. We refer to it as the Mainline Show. And I believe I purchased three 8x10 photos for, it was between $30 and $31 with tax and shipping. Okay, so first up, local guy, Tito Francona. 8x10 photo. He's no longer with us um, in his Braves uniform. And wow, that the color of this photo and the blue Sharpie, it pops. Looks really good. Here he goes. Remember the Orioles. Man, these fields were not kept up as well as what they are now. I mean, it almost looks like there's snow on the ground. Serious, it almost looks like there's snow on the ground. Um... So good to add another one of him. And then Pete Gray. Pretty cool story. You know, right there it says World War II's hero on the American home front. Um, he did play baseball. 
I believe it was for one season, and he had a batting average. Now, keep in mind, he has one arm. Yes. Had a batting average over 200. So, two seasons ago, the Pittsburgh Pirates, man, their lineup was an absolute joke. Literally a joke. I'm, there were people on that starting lineup every single day that had no business at that point being on a Major League Baseball team. Um, I'm not usually that critical but you couldn't help it. I don't want to stop. I don't want to start name dropping. But when you look up and you see the lineup and four or five guys on that lineup aren't even batting 200. Yet Pete freaking Gray could do it with one arm. <laughs> All my coworkers and I couldn't stop talking about Pete Gray during that season. All I have to say is Pete Gray. That's our way of venting about how bad those Pirates were hitting. It wasn't like their fielding was all that exceptional either. Because um, you can try to justify it if they're really good defensively, but they can't hit it. Well, but that wasn't even the case. So this was an awesome 8x10. It was obviously a newspaper article that ended up on a glossy 8x10 photo. So really cool to add that. So thank you, Larry, for the couple of nice deals there. Um, thank you to whoever sold this to me, which I still... I don't want to call it Exhibit. I don't think that's the name. For some reason, my mind is completely blanked on it. It might be Exhibit. I don't know. My mind's blanked. Um, I'm so tired from the holidays here. <laughs> so, and of course, thank you Mainline Autograph for some autograph photos. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week. A TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video such as this one on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.